Hello everyone, how's it going? Camera colors are working. Awesome. How is everyone doing? Uh, we don't have any announcements today, so let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, I did the, um, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. I did the supply ship off the air. So this should be us coming back from it. Uh, one wounded, I do believe. I do think, yeah, we got two wounds in that one. So we have Hopscotch and Elmer got wounded in it, but otherwise no deaths. We got our Illyrium, which I'm going to transfer to Grungletown, I think. No, oh, no, you got 179. How about two devils in? 150. All right, well, let's just send some to Cubase. We'll just find out who needs it. I wish there was a faster way to do this. Hey, Ted and Eddie, how's it going? It is finally warm enough to open up all the windows in the house today. Right, get the stank of weather out of here. <laughs> Good old weather stank. Winter stank. Ah, fresh air. And if all goes well, we can keep our windows open until October. <laughs> we never close them. Illyrium. Alright. Alright. We got two. I just poked it. I poked. Oh, there it is. There's a stream alert. It took its time. It took five minutes today. So <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was alive. Alirium wise, as long as we have 100 in every base, I'm actually kind of happy, and we don't need to farm anymore until it drops low. So it looks like we need to do one more small, and then I'm good. One more small, and then we're good with Alirium for the time being. Well, I, ping I pinged one of them. I pinged one. I can delete that one. There we go. All right. Uh, nothing on... We have a crash site. Teleth Escort. We don't need to do that. Uh, Devil's Den and Cubase. Do we have anything to research? A hover Tank Plasma. But that's being researched elsewhere, right? Yeah. I don't even know if we're going to use... Hey, hunk. I don't know if we're going to use the Hover Tank Plasma. Does it require ammo? Does it require Illyrium? Roger, Ted. Uh, by the way, QuickMind is finishing his XCOM file stream right now. I kind of feel bad taking away from him, but this is the only time I have this weekend. So Anzirk is done. Excellent. Hover Tank Plasma. Alien technology has given the HWP a new lease of life. The added maneuverability of air travel and the power of plasma beams is a lethal combination. And again, it doesn't have the auto fire that the tank does. So that may be a question. Why do we remove the auto fire? 75, 33, 170. 75, 33. So same accuracy, minus an auto shot. Where's my laser? Okay, it's 75. Eh, it's cheaper to use a laser. I can get four laser snaps versus three. The only difference is, I think, I can't light things on fire. Yeah, it just has a set on fire. A little armor pre damage. So, I mean, it is a different weapon. And it has the vanilla wounds, I think. Yeah, 12% of damage is wounds. <clears throat> I can understand why it's worse than the HWP, be oh, kind of, because ground and recoil, if you want to pull that BS. Why it's worse than the Cyberdisc one? Uh, because we're not actually creating the weapon for the Cyberdisc plasma. Question is why can't I take this weapon and just put it in the new craft? Right? That's the real question. And plasma defenses. Yeah. I got a long time to wait before I play Phoenix Point. And apparently anything else. Uh, the way things are going. Why do you have one of these? Sure, go ahead. Discharge that. Supplies. Okay. Anything else you can discharge? Yeah, sure. Clean out our stuff, man. <laughs> Clean out all our stores. Nice. Did they actually get a sectopod, or were they just lucky with an engineer? Oh, wait, you can... Um, yeah, yeah, so I we've had that for... Like, one of our first engineers gave us a sectopod autopsy. We have never seen them. Blaster launcher. 
This is an alien guided missile launcher which fires powerful blaster bombs. When you click to fire the weapon, it will generate waypoints for the blaster. We know how this works. I wish there was more bla fusion technology. You know, it's kind of weird that this, the fusion thing is just a blaster launcher. Like, why don't we have... I guess we get the Illyrium rockets early. 951. Oh, there we go. All right. Devil's Den. God, all this training is being done. It makes me so happy. All right. 951. What do you look like? Uh, 76 skill. 50 all done with your strength training. Good bravery. Horrible reactions. Otherwise, almost completely trained up. Very cool. And I think I'm going to take you off. Anyone? Let's go. Anyone above 75 will be taken off since it gets really slow. And we'll give it to anyone else at or above 40. There's one. And there's one. Anyone else? Close enough to call it, Anzirk. All right, and let's go run through the bases and do that real quick. At least you guys. <laughs> quick mind! <laughs> Plus 72, man. All right, we'll throw 39 is really low. A 97 is practically done, Bill. Thirty is good. Eighty-five on the thirty-three. Eighty-two on. I'm gonna start putting the low guys on there pretty soon. And you're done. Why is this still here? I guess it hasn't clicked over. Airhawk at one hundred and three. <laughs> Turn you off. Two. This is really low. Sixty-eight. There we go. I wish you could train drone or dogs up for the defense. It's actually really good. All right, we'll throw some low guys on there. And you. 79. Now this one's really nice. All right, throw it on you. 83 on you. 75. We'll leave OVP on there. 79. On, not the dogs, on Breezy. Uh, we have a few guys on their first lives. If they came in late in the game, like if they came in after the training facilities were up and going and their clones had time to um, ripen, <laughs> then then there's a really good chance that they have survived this long. Because at that point, the only thing that can kill us are, like, one-hit kills through armor, right? It's not like what we had before. All right. Um, we are going to make one hover uh, for shiggles, right? So we have the hover gauss here and the hover laser. We have the hover rocket here, if I do remember correctly. We have the hover rocket and the hover laser here. Yep. So I think here is where we need it. I have the hover laser and... Yeah, we'll make the hover plasma here. We'll give it a shot. Hover plasma, I'm gonna need uh, gra six grav modules. Expensive. We need we need floaters, man. It's gonna cost me ninety Illyrium, I think, to make that. Yeah, if we get a, a golden ethereal ship, that'll be nice. Hey, <laughs> all right. I don't know why we're getting uh, retaliations. Oh, I guess it is a large scout, so that's the only one. So we'll shoot down an ethereal scout. Wait, is that the, uh... No, we gotta return you to base. We can't use thunderstorms. <laughs> I should sell those. 
South Africa Tormentor. We've done Ethereals before. Hover Plasma. Six hours. Do a mission in Madagascar. Not in the jungle, maybe? Alright, that's because I kind of want to see Ethereals again. How long will this take to transfer? We'll just going to actually do this. Bring you there. Hover Plasma. There you go. How long will that take? 16 hours. Perfect. That should be enough time. It won't despawn by then. A large scout. I'll leave you. You do your thing. Alright. Let's... Give me the missions. Actually, let's do strength on this one since we are doing ethereal. So there's no need to bring weaklings on this except for one weakling. Alright. Mr. Lightning Smith, a stick man. And show me your missions beside that. Beep boop it is. We'll bring the plasma for you. Actually, yeah, plasma will, will work well. Do I need to MC Ethereal? I guess. Yeah, remember, you know, might as well, right? Since we're doing it. 1x. Bl Blix, it'll be you. Uh, let's bring... Well, that's why we bring four of these. And everything else will be high PSI. That'll work fine. I mean, my armor. We didn't have too much of a problem with Ethereals last time either. Flying suit. Give me some power suits. Power, power, power. Actually, you could be flying. Forty two strength, Rimbo. Give me some more. Power for you. <laughs> the shuffle flying for you. That works. Hey, <laughs> OBP, how's it going? Yeah, I'm probably going to make it happen at this point. We're going to skip the Stormtrooper armor this time. I just want the most armor. Period. Alright, now this was missing some stuff that I want to make sure we bring along. Uh, those are garbage. This is what I wanted for our X's, I think. We don't need heavy blasters anymore. Uh, sure, why not? We'll bring someone. Now, nah, let's just save those. Final mission only. Small launchers. Yeah, we can do that. Alright. We're good. We're going to have a lot of high strength guys. So we'll multi phase through the walls. That's awesome to see. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Alright, pink team. Let's go. Crash site 59. And I know they can see me. Oh, are we stuck inside? Oh, I have to drill out. Darn it, Scorch. I 
think one of these two. But still, the four snaps versus the uh, versus everyone else is the way to go. Peek. Out of range. Are we actually blocked in here? <laughs> All but that door. All right. Pretty decent starting position, actually. Alright. Let's take a peek. <laughs> nice view inside. <laughs> All right, what's stopping me? There is something right there. The good old moon roof. Excellent. Ethereal Soldier. I don't actually think I have an Ethereal Soldier. So I kind of want one of each. Two, three, four. One. Oh, I can see my guys. All right. You guys are still useless. Uh, are you in range? Yes, you are, a soldier. Panic attack. How do they mind control? I think it's a strength thing. No. No, it's not. I think giving uh, grenades to people with sense is uh, kind of on the cheating scale, or the unfun scale of playing. Block that door. You take these shots. Should have dropped your gun, but oh well. Can you actually just do me a favor and go check out over here? Under the trees. I don't know what you are. Let's go find out. What are you at? 33. That should be close enough. Thirty-three. Oh, a leader. Nice. Actually, I want to keep you alive. So, come here. <laughs> come on over here. Drop that. Your prime for stunning. need to actually get down, little pattern.
Trash boy? Anyone flies up, I need a little snap. Right. No, too late now. Can you squeeze out? Let's squeeze out this way. All right, focus on this guy. <laughs> let me out. Everyone, let me out. Here's your bait. Mmm, tasty, tasty PSI rods. You just can't resist it, can you? No. <laughs> you had so many better options. There's so many better options. Alright, that's fine. I don't want to actually kill you guys, so we'll heal you. Perfect. Four wounds is always nice. I'll just try to stun you right now. Why are they so dodgy? Just not. Are you just gonna be this way? There we go. I'm out. And not out enough. Alright, that's completely fine. Mind control. Oh, another leader. Nice. All right, you're out of energy. That might be a navigator in there. So worth trying to get, I think. He's not panicked. Why can I not walk forward? <laughs> All right, that one is just uh, unarmed. So the worst he can do is punch us. Hey, Toothless. Didn't see you get in there. Oh, all right. Thank you for that. Again, not too worried. Shields down. Should just be able to. Why are they so dodgy? <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> uh, dodgy boys. Thirty-three. Oh, that one's already captured. Never mind. Oh, he's so close. So close. Punch your friends. Oh, I can't punch my friends. <laughs> they don't have punches. Good to know. <laughs> Jesus, all your 
timing it regardless. One and oh, there's two back here. Full ship for not having uh, an engine. I don't even know what that was. Now, can we just please just. <laughs> That's actually rather ridiculous. Eighty one percent, and we had one successful. Right, let's assume that one's a soldier. Roger, Ted. You have fun out there. Yeah, we got our leaders and we got our soldiers, so we'll just take care of this and we'll kill everyone else. How close can I get? Not close enough. Shield down. Oh, no, not quite. All right, 951, I need you to get inside, maybe? Or just closer in general. Where is your stuff? Right here. Just train you into a super brave soldier anyway. That's how this is going to work. those time in it, shall we? Nice shot. There's a hit. Finally. <laughs> oh, for the love of God. <laughs> Why is that so hard? One of these things is extra silly. See him over here, don't you? There you go. And the downside of uh, 
Uh, you stay here. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the shields, honestly. You had the pistol or the rifle? The rifle. Well, at this range, they shouldn't be that accurate. It's not that it takes long to knock them down, it's that they have an insane amount of dodge. That's the problem, and dodge has no cost in this mod. I think it does in pirates. So they can dodge nonstop. All they want. We hit the tank, no problem. <laughs> Not a problem there. There is a way to make it cost uh, resources, and they do do that in Pirates. I think that was implemented. All right, before we do this, everyone, get our stun rods out. Yeah, it's said we can't hit them. It would be nice to know if there was a... See, if... Um, I'm trying to say, if there was a... If you could tell whether the hit was dodged or miss. Oh, yeah, he uses morale to attack. Like, how did he panic? There we go. Go find your friend. think you'll ever get in range. How far can we go? Uh, 10, 20, 25. So we have to be closer than that. Not a path I want to take. Just come closer. <laughs> That's all I want. It's a little bit closer. Risk the rookie. Do we risk it? I'm going to just stand right there. Sneak a little bit closer. All right. We'll get there. Training up that bravery. All right, everyone. Gather around. <laughs> Time for whack-a-mole.
Uh, we know what we need to see if the power maze has a uh, better, better melee accuracy. <laughs> Give me a reason to use that damn thing. All right. Up. Oh. Scout. Use up all this time. You know, can we get to twenty-five? And see him. There we go. All right, we got barely any melee gains because we didn't hit anything. <laughs> got some reactions from Blix. I think for attacking us. Good PSI skill training. <laughs> That's right. And uh, plus 10 bravery for not panicking. All right, you got two soldiers and two leaders. Psy Predators of Yith and Cold Stars. And the leaders give us uh, the same thing. So we'll just keep one of each. And we've got the corpses before. Sell those. All right. There we go. That was a slow mission. A very, very slow mission. And they're in the research base, which is fantastic. In fact, I don't actually care about that. Arthur Rimbo is done. Congratulations, man. Ethereal Soldier, Cold Stars. According to old ethereal tales, cold stars are anti-stars. Instead of radiating energy, they sap all energy from anything which goes near them. While such objects are unlikely to really exist, they have a special importance in ethereal culture, being associated with everything negative. More specifically, they represent everything hostile to the ethereals, which must be destroyed. Some legends say that these cold stars are inhabited by shadow people, beings of absolute evil, horrifying perversions of laws of nature. And the leader. Okay, great. Great. Yeah, we got that going elsewhere. Hooray! The month is over. All right. It is now February 2001. <laughs> the Xenonauts treatment is where your tank dies. <laughs> your tank dies before you see any enemies. That's the Xenonauts treatment. They were always such an expensive waste of money. Hey, you can leave that escort. I don't care. We do not need Zarbite right now. Or Sonic weapons. You know the one tank I really liked in Pirates that we still used late in the game for, because it could actually hit things it was the one with the arcing shot. That one was actually useful, unlike the direct fire tanks. The artillery tanks. Uh, I don't need that. Cyberweb lamp. <laughs> we finished Cyberweb. Why are we getting this? <laughs> Love of God. Oh. And it's an early cyberweb layer. It was called the, uh, the, what was it called? I don't remember what it was called. And the ethereal leader. The Psy Predators of Yeth. Our ethereal captive was responsive to psionic activation of its fear centers. The procedure extracted a coherent message, a sort of legend unrelated to the prisoner's everyday existence. This tale uncovered the most frightening concept known to the prisoner, some sort of creatures that capture and enslave ethereals with psionic powers. These beings travel the galaxy in cyclopean starships, able to permanently turn whole planets at once to their will. They are also able to project such effects at interstellar distances, but at much smaller scales. Their physical forms, if they have any, remain unknown. As a reference to our own popular cultural culture, we were that <laughs> we will refer to these invaders as Yith. If this information is at least somewhat accurate, then our cosmos may be more terrible than we ever suspected. 
or it could be simply ethereal folklore, a superstition inspired with their own frightening psionic powers. Let's hope it's the latter. All right, let's get that done. Why? Da 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 Nunez, congratulations. I love this base. This is uh, the <laughs> Citadel. Look at his accuracy numbers. 109. I don't even... It's great. Johnny Tylips at 122. And more supply ships. An abductor. Oh, this is what I'll do. This is... Uh, you get 100, I think, out of the abductors. And you guys need training. So, I think we'll take the same team. I'm going to swap your armor for a plasma so we can play with that. Where are you going? In North America. I will follow you, and I will shoot down that one. I'll shoot them down both. Abductors. That's right, there's always a triple set of these. Alright, shoot her down. These will all land, but we don't need them all. Just stop the negative scores. And then if these exist at the end of the stream, then I will farm them off the air. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh well, this one's gone. <laughs> this one's cleared out. Sufficient. Perfect. All right, we got our plasma cannon. It should have better snaps. We have these guys. I don't need this much mind control. I can't like any one of you maxed out. Uh, no, so I guess. Can't like to make up for it. I will give you a heavy plasma. No, I'll give you a killing rod. That works great. And you got a pistol. <laughs> Am I short someone? Did someone get wounded? Oh, someone did get wounded. That's right, we are short too. It's alright. We're good. <laughs> uh, speaking of fun super weapons, this sort of came up in Discord. If anyone hasn't played the game Painkiller, uh, made by People May Fly, and you like Doom-like games, play the first game. It is fantastic. I think it also has one of the best level designs in, like, gaming history. Absolutely fantastic game all around. And some of the best weapons. All right, what do we got? It was the most lethal of this group. Oh, the first two. So, there you go. You are... Ill-lethal. That's the opposite of lethal. <laughs> you are unlethal as well. Triple kill? Oh, I was going to say a sectoid double kill would be amazing. Thank you. V 
the final mission of that game is such a, a well-designed mission. It's super cool. <laughs> super cool is the best way to describe it. And the story's actually kind of half-decent. Kind of, sort of. It's not sold on story. Right, anyone with rifles? Yeah, this is the only downside of these weapons. Great on Stormtrooper armor, kind of just okay without it. <laughs> Number one, it's a shuriken gun. <laughs> It has a stake launcher. I love, I, and it's a physics gun. I love those. You can stake people up in the walls. I forget what its secondary weapon is. I think it's a stake gun slash grenade launcher, if I'm not mistaken. You have a shotgun that you can freeze things with before you shatter them with a shotgun. What else is there? Yeah, the shuriken electric one. That is definitely a thing. There's a rocket launcher. I don't remember what the secondary of the rocket launcher is. It might be a rocket launcher slash minigun. Very serious stuff. Uh, like the, uh, yeah, the stake gun reminds me of... If you've ever played No One Lives Forever, you get a harpoon in that game, which is just fantastic. I love physics guns. Man, I gotta play No One Lives Forever again. That game's great. The best kind of stealth game. You know, Yuri, if you resist the mind control, you can actually train your bravery up. Come on, just a little bit closer. We'll crush everyone's hearts. No, oh, I think that actually rolled a zero. Painkiller. This is one of the early 2000s, I think. There were a number of games that came out after it as well, and none of them were as good. It just captured the right amount of bunny hopping, doom esque mayhem, and with the uh, really large bosses, too. everyone inside focused on the uh, PSI rods. I wish you could assign multiple weapons to the same ID, like you can with armors. That's how you can have different variants of the same armor without actually having uh, multiple versions. That would be really useful.
but I don't think it's possible the way it works. You should be able to assign both a gun butt and um, and alternate fire modes too, can't you? Yeah, the only time I've ever used that alternate armor setup was just for different colored armors. Oh, gotcha. Wait, does the gun butt melee have its own thing? I thought melee was separate. You can... You can... Always he can have melee on anything. And then beyond that, you can take it over one of the aimed autos or snaps to do the secondary function. Oh, I see, I see. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So you have four total options and you want to keep three of them. Understood. Uh, take a chance that that is done. What are the odds? Actually, he can't see us, so never mind. <laughs> we, are, we are immune. Let's find out. Stun! Excellent! Come here. Come over here and see that guy. No, we can't. That's fine. <laughs> I do not lose at close combat, sir. Ah, uh, you know what? Rolled. Why do cannons roll zero? Someone help me out here. Let's give him a little little punch. Nice. <laughs> Did not ex was not expecting that to work. All right. Uh, that's just a small launcher. I'm going to assume that one's stun as well, since this isn't this is an abductor. Oh, actually, never mind. And uh, never mind. There we go. Craft needs another floor, another door on another floor. Oh, chat like, come here. I think the next XCOM one we play, next XCOM game, I'm going back into the the assigned roles setup. I think that's how we do it. Good spot to stop. the time, right? Huh. Look at you. World Zero on two of those.
Another X in there? Nah. I got two left, it looks like. Again, I am all for that. I'm all... I am all about letting the armor determine what the soldier does. Some people don't like that design. Alright, you guys are... having a good day. someone? There's someone hiding out here. Roaming around without a weapon. I'll kill you. I have no reason to keep you alive. Oh, one of my guys are mind controlled. That's why. That's why. Let's end it. Yeah, another hundred lyrium. Because hazmat suits are something that exist in this timeline and are able to buy off Amazon. <laughs> I mean, come on. If you get buy it from a store in petty cash. done with alien research. <laughs> you just need real world prices. And then it gets to the, the whole idea. Well, if they're so cheap, why are we going through the, the whole <laughs> issue of buying them? They should just be part of our funding. Oh, uh, chat-like. Cat-like. I'm sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> ah. We have our seal again. <laughs> Just sitting here waiting. Now, can I crush a heart? I was going to crush a heart and leave. Oh, that's good for the soul. <laughs> ah, Simbri is done. Uh, Teleth Cruiser. I don't think that advances a plot anymore, but let's shoot it down since it's right here. <laughs> it's on my base. And this just, that's just a large US, a large scout, right? Does it have anything that's not a navigator on it? That's the question. No, let's go look. Yeah, I think they're large scouts. Should we bring the Steely Canth? Because they are Teleth guys. <laughs> Alright. We'll bring a dog. We will bring uh, both tanks on this craft. Because that's kind of why I made this craft. Alright, to sort by missions. Midnight Daisy, Breezy, Pepe, James Vaughn. Oh, that's it. All right. That works for me. Yeah, I'm not going to bring it. We'll just bring the hover rocket with us. Flying suit, Stormtrooper. Let's look at the really low. Let's look at our strength, actually. Power. Just for the weak guys. Power. This is the front two guys. I like it. Hover rocket, hover laser. Stormtrooper, stormtrooper. 
Oh, uh, by the way, Ian, flying suits fly underwater. So, now you know. We tested. Uh, normal rockets or titanium rockets? I can just... Yeah, we'll bring titanium. We have the most of those. Those are garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. Are we just saving those? We're farming those is what we're doing right now. Right. <laughs> Why? You have... <laughs> <laughs> because you have the flying suits. What's the point? Oh, can I? I didn't even check this. Um, not hidden. Default. Show only new. Da, 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 da. We are never going to make those. I'm wondering. I'm never going to make those because those are absolutely garbage. We made fusion torches, didn't we? All right. I was wondering if the new electronic uh, items were in yet, but they are not. All right, let's go look. Well, just take me there, will you? <laughs> just or just buy them, just automatically buy them. And that should be an option. All right, what do we got? I don't think I can actually advance it until the next uh, tier of, until we get to the undersea city, which should spawn this month, unless I did something wrong. There should be 100% spawn, and I should be able to bring this crap to it. Nothing? Oh, Gilman. I don't think Gilman or Deep One. Whatever you want to call it. All right. One, two, three, four. So they're extra squishy. That's right, nothing is squishy underwater. Everything underwater is terrible. Who has? Shotgun, laser. Can I give someone mind control? Just the one? So be it. Deep one servant. Oh, that almost got him. And a deep one servant. All right. Could definitely kill one of you. I'm just going to bring you forward and I'll let you take the fire of your friends. I need the bla sonic blaster rifles are actually what I'm what I'm farming for. We have enough pistols. We got pistols for days. Oh, they got fast punches. Two, three, another rifle, four, five. All right. Not even close. <laughs> Good job, Mr. Placeholder. So proud. Man, these guys are tanky. Oh, Roger, OBP, thank you for stopping by. I only want you to fire aim shots. I want to go past that. Oh, 
he's awake, so this might be our last mission. I I want to spawn. My goal is to spawn the uh, the undersea mission, so we can at least get that immediate for our next stream. I want to see cross map, one handed shotgun shot in stormtrooper armor. <laughs> it's a lot of spread. <laughs> <laughs> that answers that question. Oh, we missed the 119% shot. And the dog. The dog anywhere useful? I think that would be interesting if you could do it in a good way. I mean, if they're truly non-competent, non-competent, non-competence, then you could set them as civilian AI, so they're automatically captured if you kill all the other guys. Nice snap from the AC. <laughs> that's true. That's right. Sorry. Uh, I forgot about that. Uh, that's not how aggressiveness works, unfortunately. Aggressiveness to zero basically means they won't try to... Uh, I mean, they'll be less likely to come at you, but really what it means is they won't try to avenge the deaths of their friends. I wish there was more to it. But aggressiveness is uh, one of those things that don't work the way you think they should. Stats. The only way to make them passive is to not allow them to move. What do you mean? How do a siren guys work? They can. I think it's just because they have really shitty stats, so they might not have enough accuracy to damage you or to hit you. They're just really bad units, but they will. I mean, I mean, they do. They do attack. We have been assaulted by a siren in our turns. You can uh you can overburden them. Is an option. You can give them a weapon that they can't fire well and set their minimum firing accuracy so that only if you're really close will they actually try to do anything. Oh yeah, you're still awake. <laughs> I forgot about you. effing corners, man. Yeah, so the way you can do that is set a good minimum firing accuracy for, for the aliens to do stuff, and then plan your weapons around that. Now the accuracy. Sure is showing. Or just give their weapons max ranges. That's also an option. That can actually hurt.
All right, come on. One for three rockets. I had to be able to hit something. There we go. Let's train some bravery. Oh, that's a good one. Hit with a 46. <laughs> These guys are so damn tanky. Oh my goodness. I know I keep saying it, but it's amazing how tanky these Gilman are compared to Vanilla. I don't think I can get anywhere in range. Straight line path. Daw. One more? Daw. <laughs> oh, we just have energy. Yeah, you're killing me. There you go, Breezy. Pepe. Oh man, Sivvy's Sivvy's losing morale. <laughs> it's it's sort of like, what's the point? They're already uh, useless enough as it is, even fully armed. They generally can't kill anything. Even the dogs have a hard time. Oh, civvy aliens, civvy aliens. I'm sorry. Yeah. Non-coms. Let's call them that, so we don't. <laughs> All right. I miss the days, I really do, where Meridian Vision was extra, super cheaty, useful. That made life great. We got spoiled. Just have them, just have them all spawn in the engine room. <laughs> it's the way to do it. Come on out. Come on out. There we go. Oh, that seems... Nope. Not what I meant to do. <laughs> Wrong button. Oh, we got two snaps, so that worked out great. <laughs> Not done yet. One of the other... Uh, Genius things in Terra from the Deep ship design was how you always had to go around this ship. It wasn't easy to assault very well until you could fly. Now, I wonder if, if we can go down through these like you can in Pirates. <laughs> I'm all for it. Man, he 
did not have a long nap at all. We're moving towards, towards one nap in the middle of the day, and I hope it's a long one. Man, do I hope. If it's not, I might actually go crazy. Literally go crazy. I've sort of found myself at this place where I have to ask myself, what is more important, my physical health or my mental health? Do I uh, become sleep deprived or do I uh, like work myself into an introverted state of depression? Just dealing with basically being surrounded by people all the freaking time. Oh, they closed it up in pirates. We got we got uh, killed a few times because they just popped up right behind us. All right, more Zarbite tanks, which is fine. Well, I think I have four of these now, so that's enough Zarbite to go. Aquaplastics, I have a whole bunch, and I have... Oh, what else can I make? Oh, yeah, of course. They don't need those at all, I don't think. No, no, I don't. Oh, a Sonic Pulsar. I think that's our first one. Awesome. Iron, and only for the Iron Fist. I don't think I'm going to make another one, so we'll keep a couple of those, but other than that. Hover tank launcher. And that's our last hover tank. I'm not, I'm not talking about, like, full sleep deprivation, just, like, getting six hours of sleep a night versus uh, nine. It boils down to being a mental health issue either way. <laughs> Which one I want to suffer first. I need I need alone time. And not in that way. Alright, Katanite, an alien. This is the first four years into this game. Five years? Our first alien research that was not sectoids. Maybe a Katanite lab ship. Avalanche missiles. Fusion ball. This launcher fires a ball-shaped missile powered by antimatter reaction. The ball destroys a target with a gravity wave, so it's 100%, 230 damage. Uh, you only get two. I don't care about the range. So these are basically the same damage as the Storm Lance. And 300. So, slightly better than the Avalanche, but it requires stuff not good enough to swap out the Avalanches for. And then the heavy stingrays are still, I think, the best. To yeah, just heavy stingrays are 100% still the best weapon to put in a heavy launcher slot if all you care about is damage. I'll go ahead and research you. Gazer Commander, Fusion Ball Launcher. We could do the launcher here. I think we will be using hover tank launchers. That's usually uh, my MO for using uh, blaster bombs. Limit them to tanks for anything but the final mission. A chakram has activated. What is this? Details. Oh, this place and time is a great opportunity for one of our agents to confront their inner demons. This is a one-person journey to the center of their mind. Avoid or defeat red dream sprites, which represent your fears and limitations, and become better at being who you are. Look for the prize, a delicious cake, and either use it or bring it home to use later by someone else. The cake will permanently raise the user's PSI strength. Astral form. <laughs> All right, who do you want to send on that? I assume we'll just do our... Uh, not that. So bye. <laughs> Can dogs go on this? <laughs> Get a dog with 60 strength. I don't know. How much strength does it give you if you eat the cake? <laughs> well, we got to send Miranda, right? Is there um, Dimension X, Sporting... Ah, Dreamscape, what do I got? An Ancient Katana. Oh, a Dagon Staff and a Staff of Hard Grip. Alright, we're good. <laughs> so, if I send the dog, <laughs> get lucky four times, we could bring a dog to Cydonia. If only. 
All right, we'll bring, uh, clear that out. Dreamscape, Staff of Heart Grip, and an H Katana. Miranda. Bring your Matrix coat. I know you can't wear it, but still. <laughs> hey, Scourge, yeah, we're going to do our very first Dreamscape. Wonk. That's a two-handed weapon. Uh, yeah, maybe. I'll bring that. Oh, duh, man, I had to make a choice. Screw it. We'll bring the, we'll bring the big one. All right. If it's too dark, I can brighten it up a bit so you guys can see everything. Let me know. No, oh, this looks like stuff from uh, Apoc. If I had to guess. Looking for cake, I guess. That looks like over there, maybe? Yeah. How far can I run? Nice. Meow. Well, if that's not where we're supposed to go, then I don't know XCOM. He really is. It's it's amazing what he does with these pallets. I say it every time I can. Like you can just tell Robin did something just by the amount of care goes into it. A dream sprite with a ranged weapon. How are we doing on energy? Can my astral form get tired? It looks like it absolutely can get tired. <laughs> When your astral form is out of shape. Uh, I can't go in the fire. Should be in range. Uh, 30, I don't want to use that. My astral form eats astral cake on a daily basis. <laughs> Anything? Come on. You guys are not helping at all. Do the dogs have an astral armor? Do I get blue dogs if I would have brought a dog? It's important for science. <laughs> Just give it a blue palette swap and you're done. <laughs> Oh, that would be so good. Or a werewolf. 
with a blue palette swap. Oh man, that Scorch, that's what you gotta do. You gotta turn it into a werewolf, just with human stats. Just a little, uh, little tongue-in-cheek. <laughs> you give it ass asshole claws instead of the knife, but otherwise exactly the same. Can you use the same stuff? I feel like that might be a safe place to stand. <laughs> My energy recover a bit. The spirit of the wolf. That's the corpse, I think, of the uh, the guys I killed. Is that an anime poster on the wall? <laughs> what are we getting into here? for corpse. Arturia Pendragon. All right, that's all clear. Oh, I love these chandeliers. There's the stairs. All right. So as far as progression goes, as I said, the uh, U City should 100% spawn this month, and then I think the ones after it, as long as we capture what we need to capture are also 100% spawns by default. So hopefully if all things goes all things go well, we should have the ability to leave or to go to Cydonia in 3 months game time. Wait, where am I going? Not this room. Where's the cake? Is that the cake? That thing? Well, I'll take a look at it. Top left of the circle. Oh, yeah, I would never have seen that. Thank you. If I eat it now, it works. <laughs> Is that how I'm supposed to do it? Give it to Miranda. No, I can only throw it. Actually, <laughs> weapons to keep. What, do I actually have to... Oh, gotcha. Yeah, you have to use a transformation for it. Alright, we'll try it. 
We'll try it. Again, something I also would not have thought to check. Nope. Maybe this one? Nope. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, they have, that's true. If you leave the cake on there, that would be uh, would be a big little problem. Also give it a bigger floor up. Because I would not have seen that. But the minimap has corpses on it. Bigger floor ops. <laughs> no one uses the mini map. <laughs> they won't even read the Ophopedia. They're not going to check the map. I should have enough for a big old sprint. Yeah, just no. Just use my my proximity mines mod where it just has a big flag on it. There we go. Oh, a Fortnite joke. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. So, agents. Good old transformations. No. How do I transform? How do I transform? Is it a manufacturing thing? These are garbage. Hide those. Oh, okay. Roger. Delicious cake. There it is. That's a uh, definable per item, Ian. This irresistible culinary item manifests after a successful Dreamscape journey. When consumed, it stimulates psionic affinity, permanently enhancing BSI strength, but not beyond your natural limits. It can be eaten when gravely wounded, having strong healing properties. Lies. Its origin, composition, and properties are best left unsaid. Okay. So we can't give it to someone with 100 strength. You know, I'm going to give this cake to one person who got dealt a rough hand. Uh, to quick mind, <laughs> the only X, the only X hybrid that we have, <laughs> and this will get him up to 52. I wish it was more. I wish it was more. I can't re-roll it. All right. There you go. Eat the cake. There you go. Quick mind. No longer an X, I believe. Hover tank launcher is done. 
this hover tank. Oh, question for you, Scorch, since you're here. How come the um, hover plasma and hover laser tanks don't have an auto shot, whereas the ground-based variants do? All right, we have our HWP fusion bomb launcher. A uh, very expensive cost at 140 concussive damage. I think that's uh, all vanilla stuff. 11 blast radius. <laughs> I think the transformation way is actually a good way to do it, honestly. It's nice to be able to see what you're getting from it. Um... The question is, how come the HWP versions of the laser and plasma tanks have an auto shot, whereas the hover tanks varieties do not? That is my question. Alright, we're all working on that, right? Yep. Alien commanders. See, that's, that was my, my answer. Alien commanders. Commanders. The highest level of the alien field command structure are responsible for all major military operations. They are mostly recruited from su successful leaders with enough command experience. They receive no further formal training, but instead spend some time with individuals who actually govern the entire alien force, learning secret knowledge and absorbing thoughts of higher beings. Quite literally, as psionic brainwashing is involved. When not on duty, they live a solitary life, rarely interacting with beings other than leaders. Their understanding of alien operations is more than enough to confirm what we have already suspected. The aliens operate from Mars. <laughs> I didn't even notice it until I was um, I was playing around with making the, plas the, the turrets on the tanks interchangeable. And I didn't, that's when I first noticed how the HWP versions were different weapons. And I'm like, why are we defining those twice in a rule set? It seems like a lot of extra work. Hybrid agent cloning facility found. We don't care. <laughs> See a Scorch. All right, can we crush a heart and then leave? <laughs> just like we do with all our hybrids. Give me a heart to crush. Give me a heart to crush. Nope. Alright. You guys can live for another day. Medium scout, alien research, we don't care. Small, again, don't care. This is actually a good craft for doing uh, infiltration missions because when you pop in or out, they were not going to destroy your uh, gear. <laughs> now that I think about it. There it is, Undersea City Infiltrated. We do not have time to do this mission right now, so this will be the first mission, either tomorrow or Tuesday. And this is finally... This is the end. This is the beginning of the end. We have three more missions we have to do and then Mars. So we'll make sure we capture, I think it's an Aquatoid leader we need to get from this mission. We will bring the Iron Fists and then it's all downhill from here. So thank you all very much for watching. It's great to finally, finally have the end in sight. I will see you in a couple days. Adios. If you're still here, I want to take a moment to say thank you for watching. Please leave a comment or click the like and subscribe buttons below. Every little